Hello, welcome back. We are in an election season, but what we really are in is an extended season of change here in Park City. And as the host of this program for a few years now, I've been fortunate to gradually ingratiate myself into this community. Not too much. Don't want to be too familiar. Familiarity breeds contempt, but I've done some of it. And one of the people who has been a great guide for me, a passionate, advocate for this town, for Summit County, and for good times. She's the glamper of all times. <laughs> it's my pleasure to introduce, welcome back to the show, former Summit County Counselor and current business cool lady in Park City, Claudia McMullen. What's up, girl? Ten, How nice are you, hon? You. So good it's to see you always. Long. Your hair's still purple. Still purple. We'll get more perp tomorrow. More perp. <laughs> it's perp time tomorrow. Just as long as there's no purple drank served with that. No you don't purple be, drinks. No, no. Uh, no cough syrup in your cocktail. No there. cough syrup <laughs> just, in my cocktail. Just purple color just in your Just purple hair. color good. in my hair tomorrow. Good. Awesome. Indeed. How are you? I'm good. Good. How are you? I'm great. I haven't traveled as much as you have. That's nonsense. Well, I haven't I know. traveled. You were in New York. You had, a, I was you had an New anniversary. Your sweetheart. In, Happy anniversary I to know. Tim. I was in New York. And then I was in San Francisco in, in March. But other than that, but I mean, you, but other than, <laughs> I'm just hanging. Yeah, other than two of the great American cities of all time. Indeed. And for the right reason. Anywhere. San Francisco is for Hamilton. That's right. You oh, saw, was it that good? It, yeah. I, I just, I don't no, know, for some reason. No, I promise reason, you, I promise you. I'm fearful. I, don't be fearful. Embrace the Hamilton. Okay. I've seen a million shows. Yes, you're a Broadway it, baby. I am. And you I are. lived in New York almost 20 years. Yeah. And it is the best show I've ever seen. Better than Book of Mormon? Better than Book of Mormon. And, wow. I, loved, and I loved Book of Mormon. Yeah. I did. I laughed. I laughed. I laughed. laughed. <laughs> but I love, I mean, Hamilton is. is well, it, I mean, and of course, the, the other thing, and I, I kind of say this about country music, which I've never liked country music, but yeah. somewhere in my teens, I realized that the fact that millions of people all over the world love country music must mean that there's something good about it. Loretta Lynn. Yeah, Conway Col Twitty, yeah, Coal Miner's George daughter, Jones, Omar, all of yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, but more, more to the point with Hamilton, that uh, uh, I can't say his name, Luis. <gasps> I, I mean, he is Lin Manuel. Lin Manuel Miranda, Miranda, yes. Lin Manuel Miranda. Yes, is I mean, he's he's a global superstar. I think. Uh, yeah, but he it, it's Jay Z really is his best friend now. It really doesn't matter if you see him. He wrote the he wrote it. He wrote the book. Seeing him in it doesn't make any difference because. It's just the Everybody's thing. amazing in it. The and show. I saw it in San Francisco with the traveling cast, and it was amazing. Sure, sure. Yeah. A great show is a great show. Great show. And Higher I saw Evan people. Hansen this week. Oh, nice. Dear Evan Hansen, it was great. Wow. You've yeah. been, you're living life. Although, I we, we have to, uh, uh, I don't know if on, on your uh, one shot there, if folks can see your, that you still are wearing your apron. Never take it off. Right? Yeah, exactly. Never take it off. just got out of bed this way. Yeah, <laughs> yes. No, but I've been running around today. I didn't get a chance, and I, and I was like, eh, whatever. I'm wearing it. You are. You're living it. I, I am living it. That's her damn shirt. You don't shirt. smell like coffee beans, though. So not that that would be a bad no, thing. No, I'm not at the roaster that often. I see. I'm, uh, the roasting facility runs itself. I've got great people over there. I'm there. I run in and out. They know I'm where at, the power is, where the beans yes, are to put in the roaster. Yes, and, and my husband's out there to help with, like, machine issues. Nice. And then <laughs> I'm at the shop, and then I'm at the shop growing the brand, and then I'm at home. I'm doing I'm in a lot of places. You are. I am. So the reason I've asked you here tonight, Claudia. Talk to me. Well, I, I, I think this is just kind of a moment for a little bit of an introduction because uh, the background is that Claudia and I had a conversation on the phone on Friday and I was a little um, enlivened. You were a smidge. By uh, an article that appeared in the park record regarding a proposed upcoming uh, general tax, fund, tax, general increase. fund tax increase mm -hmm. in the amount of 27 percent, mm -hmm. which is over one quarter of an increase again. Mm -hmm. See how I did that with magical numbers. I, I studied them all. Mm -hmm. That's good. In all seriousness, I found myself wanting after reading this article. More info. And, and there was an, it, yeah, and, and it just, I, I was upset that there wasn't a rationale. It was like, well, we haven't raised taxes in 30 years, so it's 27. 
Okay. And I then there was mixed in some uh, reference to the reserve fund. Uh, and again, the generalities were sometimes there are millions of dollars in the reserve fund and now there's nothing. No, that's not true. And well, again, I, this okay. is... Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about the reserve fund first, okay? Awesome. So the reserve fund is um, statutory as to how much you sure. need to have in the reserve fund. And what the council did during my tenure yes. is we passed an ordinance or we signed some, I don't know, whatever, um, where we, we, we made that amount more. So say you're supposed to have 2%. I'm, I'm just saying for the sake of argument. Right. You're supposed to have 2% in the reserve fund. And we said, no, we're going to have 5 We want to have 5%. And is that 2% of your budget? I think it's 2% of the fund. Of, of what is in the general fund? I think so. OK. But okay. now you're, I have to reach back to That's many okay. years That's in my okay. past. But let's just say, OK, so statutorily, sure. you have to have X percent. And the county council back a few years ago said, no, we want Y percent, X plus 2 percent, mm -hmm. say. So what's happened is we are, a, we are at least at the statutory level now, so we're not in any kind of violation, right. and we're certainly not at zero. Right. So what, we, what apparently the county has done is it's, it's under its self-imposed 2 plus X right. percent. Right. right, statutory percent. Right. Well, the statutory percentage is the floor, and then the council okay, made okay. a ceiling, and in between the two lies, and there's nothing that requires us to stay, at, it requires them, I shouldn't say us because I'm not on anymore, okay. but it requires anyone to stay at this, but they went below, and they went below, from what I understand, um, to help pay for the Camus Library building, pay as you go, rather than bond to build a building. Right. So it saved interest costs and things like that, but we are still, not we, the county is still within its statutory requirement for the general fund, which is unlike what I told you back in 2010 when, I, when we inherited the 20, 2008 budget, right. and then in 2009, you know, we were in the recession, and then in 2010, we're like, ah, we were told, ah, you're below the statutory requirement, so then we had to shuffle, we had Gin to- Gin it up, yeah, Well, say. I don't know, we had, I don't even remember exactly what we did, but we had to take care of business, and we did. Right, right. But that's not the case that's happening today. So that's the why right. behind that. Um, the general fund, okay, so here's the thing about the general fund. It funds critical things like police, um, uh, Trash pickup, uh, plowing, you know, the things that everybody needs. Sure, no, it, doesn't, sure. it doesn't fund fluff. It right. doesn't fund, the fluff comes from, I mean, what, what people may perceive as fluff might be, you know, sustainability or the uh, these, because uh, those uh, don't come from the general fund. Right. Those come, those, what funds those things, which are all, we're all very demanded by our consti the constituents, yes. not ours, you know, right. constituents. Um, so the basic services that are, are provided by the general fund, the general fund is not bringing in enough money to cover those basic needs any right. longer. And that is because back in the day, so the, the general fund increases with new growth. New growth meaning commercial and residential. And people think, oh, well there's so much new growth happening. Not true. The growth rate in the mid 2000s was was sufficient to sustain the general fund in a way to provide the services that we all demand. That growth rate has decreased. So we aren't growing anything like we did 10, 10, 12 years ago. But people feel like we are because you have the traffic impacts and you have the impacts right, of something right. that is more driven less by growth than it is by growth of jobs. Yes. We've had a high growth yes. of jobs. Growth so in suddenly, business activity. Yes. So you've got more people on this, you know, you've got more traffic congestion yes. and things like that. And it's really important. But that has, and, and to bring it back one more time, and I'm doing this for myself as much as for the audience, to, to draw that distinction is important because what you're saying is there is more traffic on the roads, there is more stress upon the services that are provided by Summit right. County, but you don't have a greater tax base because it's the, because we can't grow in the same way we, and now I'm excluding myself because right. I wasn't here right, right, right. in 2004, right. but uh, 2004 to 2007, or whenever that time was be right. kind of before things slowed down, and before the recession like, you know, Things are cooking yeah. with gas after the Olympics, you know. Right. Right. Really funding, yes. really funding, and, and now it hasn't. So, um, 
the other Im really important thing, I know you say it like, you know, it hasn't been raised in 30 years. It hasn't been raised in 30 years, which means it hasn't accounted for inflation for yes, 30 years. Yes, yes, Which yes. means this growth, so this fund, should any tax base to account for inflation should be reviewed every five to eight years okay. and probably increased a smidge. Okay. And the county never did that because this crazy growth back in the day funded everything. Well, now we're not at that place anymore. Right. We now being Summit County. Catch up. It is, it's time to play catch up. And it's what happened to us with the municipal fund back you know, in 2013, where that hadn't been raised since you know, time immemorial. And our our roads were falling apart and things like that. We had to keep up basic maintenance. But the fact of the matter law is, if you don't raise your right. your tax rates every five to eight years to account for inflation, you're going to have a you're going to have a big jump at some point, and it's time to bite the bullet. Right. I agree with Roger right. about that. Just like it was time for yes. us to bite the bullet in 2013 on the municipal fund and the service area six fund, which again had not been raised. We need to take care of the basic services that our community demands and at the level that the community requires. Yes. And in order to do that, you have to raise the tax rate for the general fund. And you have to raise it for the municipal fund because we didn't do it enough in 2013. Right. And it's five years, it's almost sure. five years since, and it's which also, is that time. It's also five genera six generations of five years, so to speak. Yes. As as inflation is a thing, even if we don't have right. heavy inflation, runaway inflation, any of those things that we've all experienced in our lifetimes. And of course, the other thing that, that has to be figured in is this cyclicality that, that happens, that has an impact on growth. Right. And I think, I think such an important thing to remember, to, bear, to, to repeat, is yes, there's more traffic on the roads. Yes, there's, but that doesn't equate to High to a growth. greater tax base, yes, absolutely. Beca because the tax base only goes up with new growth in commercial and residential, and we just are not growing as much as people think we are right, and the way right. we did in the back in the day, and now it's time to bite the bullet. Sure. And we have to raise the tax. The, we, the taxes should be raised. We also, by the way, we need to be, we need to provide quality service to the constituents, right? To Absolutely. our people. And not shoddy, not half-baked, not, you know, just to, you know, just get by stuff. We need to take care of our roads. We right. need we're to a take... We're four-season community. We are, and we it's are, hard and on we're the a roads. community that has an influx of hundreds of thousands. So even though it's a small community, that is my phone, I'm sorry. Oh, even though we're even a small it. community, it grows exponentially sure. every year, twice a year. During the season. And we need to take care of that. Yeah, because so, that is a great deal of right. extra wear that requires extra. Okay. And to the extent anybody says, well, you know, we don't need sustainability, we don't need this, we, you know, you could cut all those the PIO, but we're still all not, these, you're not going to touch the need. Yeah. That does, that's not going to be enough savings to touch the need. So you don't want to cut services. You don't want to cut staff. We're not, the county has never been, in my opinion, in my, all my time, it has never been overstaffed. Profligate. It has never, ever been. I mean, we, the, the staff does an amazing job running a county on what is not a huge budget. Right. It looks big to the out, but it's not a huge budget. When you get into it, and I think I, I agree with that, and I think that that's one of the things that sometimes, well, it makes me upset about politics in general, but but also in these kinds of situations. And the where other you're saying an absolute amount. Oh, sure. I mean, right. yeah, ten million dollars. That's a lot of money, depending on your context, or it's nothing. Depending and on another your important, 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 important thing: lowest tax rate in the state. Summit County, lowest stinking general fund tax rate in the state. It's time. Right. It's right. just time. Right. And it's going to hurt a smidge, but it's worth it because you want the services and you don't want the cuts. Right. And that's the greater good. It is the greater good. And, and it's, everybody's got to, right? Everybody's and it's the gotta, unpopular part you know, of the job. Give it a little bit. You got to take, you know, you got to take care of business. Yeah. And it's not, a, it's not a popular thing to do, but it's a necessary thing to do. Right. And and I and just and I don't want to get too much into kind of the, 
uh, troll o sphere of kind of the suggestions that people were making, but you know, it's like, oh, you know, whatever, uh, close the library in Colville. There's some, and uh, this is not a literal thing that I read, but just these like, well, we'll just kind of pick, uh, it's like, no, 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 apples and oranges, you're not addressing right. this issue. And it's like, you know, you can bring your political philosophy all day, and I will, I will you know, put, put a fine point on this. I, I don't care what your political philosophy is if the roads are impassable and we're trying as a community to grow in the sense that we're, we're the greatest ski town in the world, which I think we're, we're, we're pretty close, close to that. And there are a few people who might digress right. from that, but we're pretty darn close. And you can't have Shawnee Roads. It's like, I'm sorry. You, you can't. You, right, right. It's not For about, us, too. Right. Asphalt and political philosophy are two different materials. That's right. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> Terry Burden. <sighs> so are you less upset now? Well, I feel like we're. I feel like we're starting a conversation that I would like for us to continue once a month or so, uh, just talking about town and talking about what's going on. Mm -hmm. And of course, you've been here many times over the years, so mm -hmm. we have a great and warm rapport. You've been a great supporter of this program. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that very much. You're a great part of the community. I'll come back anytime. And that's yeah. I feel like, and I'm comfortable talking with you about these things and getting. If I get a little jacked up. You're going to keep me on the on the on the facts and narrow, so to speak, which is where you know that's the thing that drives me crazy most of all is that when I hear you know this number in a vacuum without any context, right. 27 percent, and you say, uh, you, you know, it's it, part of the reason is because we haven't done this in 30 right. years, and and the reserve fund has problems, and I just go, there's I don't I, I don't feel like I'm any more enlightened. No, because if you don't have the facts, you make them up, right? If you don't have facts, you, you, yes, you create your own. Them. You create your own narrative as to the why right. behind it. And I it. said to you on the phone on Friday, I said, "Look, I'm not presuming that there's some nefarious thing going on as to why there's not money in the yeah. general fund, or excuse me, in the reserve fund, to the tune of some seven-figure amount." But I want to know what I want to know. Right. I'm not and saying I, it's that anybody's pulling anything. I'm saying I want to know. And I wasn't saying you specifically. I just yeah, think sure. that I think human nature is yeah. if you don't have the information, you're going to make it up. You're going right. to make up well the narrative yeah. that that sure. you fill it in. Yeah. So you just have to get the facts out. You yeah. have to get the story out, and you have to just be more open about it. And I just think it was it was not a fully formed yes. um, report yes. Yes. that you read. And I uh, I think I feel strongly about having this conversation with you because you're not an elected representative anymore, and yet you have that experience of right. eight years right. of, of serving on the county council. And so, I, and I, I also know how lucky we are. We haven't had tax rate increases. Right, 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 right. I mean, right. for Guess God's what? sakes, man. Absolutely. 30 years, the damn fund hasn't been increased. Right. And yeah, you know, great growth funded it for a while. Well, we're not there anymore. Right. So it's time Again, to take reality. care of business. Right. And the same thing happened, like I said, during my tenure with the Municipal Fund and the Service Area 6. Super unpopular things to do, but incredibly necessary. Yeah. Just uh, yeah, incredibly. Not, not optional. Not for, and, not, and, and not for fluff. Uh, we're talking right. about yeah. police and roads and picking up garbage and snow removal and the stuff right. we that, all that we expect take for granted. to yes. go swimmingly. Absolutely. See, you yeah. know, so I feel very strongly for, I feel very strongly about this because I've been there mm -hmm. and I know how lucky we are to have had this low tax rate right. for as long as we have and it's still going to be the lowest in the state. There you go. So okay. whatever. <laughs> Let's go. The final word, <laughs> as always, when she's here in the building, goes to Claudia McMullen. Thank you for being here. Uh, tell folks uh, where to go online to get more info on Hugo Coffee because it's delicious. Well, thank you. It you is. can go online. Um, you can go online on my website, Hugo.coffee, to nice to, to learn about the company, and then you can go on Amazon.com to buy it online. Nice. I don't. I'm not doing an online store anymore because. Ugh, yeah, to, uh, more work. Shipping than it's was worth. killing me price yeah. wise. I was losing money on everything I yeah, shipped. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I have the shop at uh, the visitor center. And, That's right, Kimball Junction. Uh, at Kimball Junction. I'm in Whole Foods. I'm Great. in the Park City Marriott here. Mm. I'm in a bunch of places. 
So yay. Yay, yay Terry. So good to see you. Nice to see you too, Do honey. my best to your lovely husband, Tim. Will do. And uh, come back and we'll fetch more. Call me anytime. It's Claudia McMullen, everybody. Thank you so much, dear. We're going to take a quick break. We've got lots more music. And the vets from R, R, and R are going to be here as well. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.